Welcome to the tour of a one-of-a-kind Beneteau. This ex-charter boat used to have six cabins, three and a half bathrooms, until we got a hold of it, completely gutted it, and turned it into our off-grid floating home that's going to take us around the world. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and join us for one hell of an adventure. What's up guys and welcome to Spirit Animal. This is a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting us to do. We're about to take you around the boat and show you our home. There's still a lot of stuff that we have to finish, a lot of small cosmetic stuff here and there. And trust me, we did not detail the boat and make it perfect before this video. We've currently been living on board for a couple years now and it's gone through an extensive refit. So, although it's a Benito, it's a Benito like you've never seen before. So let's go around, show you what we've done, and give you a tour of the place we live. So we're gonna start from the front of the boat and work our way back to the cool stuff. Let's go. Up here, we have our anchor locker. We have an extra anchor, our swell bridle. Then we move back here, and this is our utility closet. It's where we keep all of our lines, fenders, our blow-up paddle boards, and of course, our little washing machine. This is a very cheap, efficient washing machine, Black & Decker, that we got off Amazon and it has made our lives so much easier. Moving on! We brought our life raft up here to get it out of the way of the back, which we'll get to in a moment. We also added this dock box. It's just a standard dock box. We cut the bottom six inches off. It's added quite a bit of storage, including for our dive compressor, our extra dive gear, and we made it shorter just to lessen some of the windage of the box. And now, on to the cool stuff. Here we go, baby. This is probably one of the coolest hardtops in the monohull nation. There was a ton of thought that went into this thing, such as this little boom cradle. Look at that. We sit the boom inside of this, and it takes the tension off of the topping lift and that way you're not getting any creaking and stuff when it's at anchor. Another thing that's awesome about this is we can tighten the main sheet and then that's gonna hold the boom down tight in some hurricane situations. All right, now come up top. 11 foot wide, 22 foot long. This hard top is massive and we did that with a lot of intention. Obviously out here you get a lot of sun, so we wanted a ton of shade down below, and we wanted a lot of real estate for solar panels. A lot of you guys have not seen this new upgrade, because originally this was only a fiberglass hardtop, but you can never have enough solar, so we just added 800 more watts of soft panels, giving us a total of 3,050 watts of solar that recharge our awesome battery bank very fast. The installation of these soft panels will come up in a future episode, but we really like to test out our products before we mention them to you guys. So we'll let you know if we like these things or not. But we did do a lot of research before we bought them, and the guy that had these things literally ran them over with his car on the gravel road, and they're extremely durable. And we wanted that because this hardtop is meant for parting. We've had 10 people up here. We got this little hole that a pole goes in, where we typically hang our flag from, but on crazy days, the girls will get up here and do their little bikini dancing. And so, uh, you know, we wanted something durable that could handle the dancing. And then we also come up here, bring the bean bags, chill, and watch the sunset. So it's like a little party deck. Looking back, we got the Starlink hanging off the back, which is an absolute necessity if you're doing the things we're doing and going to remote locations because we used to literally plan our routes looking for cell phone towers and you'd have to anchor within five miles to have range. Now we've got Wi-Fi wherever we want in the middle of the ocean, so that is an absolute necessity on the boat and we love it. Now let's move down and show you the underside. All right, so something you might not notice is that I'm six foot four. Pretty tall guy and you can see that I've got a foot of headroom above me here this was intentional before we had a bimini top here that was very low and I was walking around like this it was just very tight so we wanted to raise the bimini and if we we're gonna raise the bimini and have to remake it might as well put a hard top and you might as well build a big ass frame so push came to shove and this happened another thing we did is rip out the cockpit table because it used to be about this tall and it had leafs that extended to both sides and honestly it was just kind of in the way plus who doesn't want a stripper pole in the cockpit so we removed that 
that. Put this little coffee table that we still have to finish and make nice. And then we added the upholstery, which makes the place extremely homey. Working back to the transom. This is one of the upgrades that Sasha thought was unnecessary. And I just had the vision in my head and now it's her favorite part of the boat. Very true. It is a fold down transom that matches the back of the boat perfectly. When it's up, we just clip it around one of these bars over here. And you can also store stuff back here while you're under sail. And then to set it down, we just got it on some rope. Folds down and it's super strong. We've had like five people on the back jumping around, so it's very sturdy. Looking up, we've got the dinghy winch. This is just a four wheeler winch that we customized and put the rope in the center so that when you hit the button, both of these move up and down with one press of the button. Making it very easy to raise and lower the dinghy. And our dinghy sits perfectly right up against these two bars on the back. So when we're underway and healing, it's not sliding around, just a couple ratchet straps and it's good. You'll also notice that we've got these rings up here, which is just a little workout station. And we've got these awesome kicker tower speakers, which absolutely scream when we throw a flotilla. Cool thing about them is they have these little clips right here. You can open these and twist them and point them in any direction you like. You can hear these things from about a mile away. Of course, we don't do that because a lot of cruisers like their peace and quiet, so it's only on rare occasions that these things get turned up. But it's always nice to have that weapon in your back pocket. Back here, this is our fish filleting table. I made this bracket out of some bimini brackets and it quickly folds down. We also added this 50 foot hose, which goes from fresh water to salt water with the switch of this little lever here that we also installed. And you can turn it off right here. And then over on this side, we have another fresh water little shower. And we actually ran hot water to this. So every time we dive, we come back here, we'll take a shower and it's just pretty convenient to have. So you're not going inside and getting everything all wet. We got a couple hatches on the back side, which just have storage in them. This is where our life raft used to be. We took that out, moved it on the front deck, and now we have all of our dive gear here, which is very easily accessible. Got our magma grill. We have four rod holders off the back so we control while we're underway. We made a pole spear holder out of a PVC pipe. Got rod racks and surfboards. So this hard top really has more purposes than just shade and solar and partying on the top deck. It's got tons of benefits to it. It opened up the whole back of the boat and it allows us to soar things and it's just really, really cool. It makes this boat very unique. I also might answer the million dollar question, does the hard top affect the way the boat sails? And the answer is probably, but not enough for us to notice. But it could affect a different boat. This boat has a very wide 16 foot beam and we typically do our first reef at 18 to 20 knots, which is pretty standard. We also installed four of these around the boat, which give you better access to the compartments and they're great for tackle storage. A lot of storage under here. We have some workout equipment, fishing gear, our Blue 3 dive compressor, and then same with this side, ton of storage. Got all our gas cans and whatnot in there. Last but not least, we also have all of our gauges, our VHF, autopilot, radar. Uh, you can control the music from out here. We installed this twisting Garmin mount so that we can turn it around. So when we're under sail and you want to relax, you can kick back here. Instead of sitting up there, you're more protected behind the Dodger and you can see where you're going and making sure you're still on course. And that's pretty much it besides this super sexy Spirit Animal logo up top. Originally I had the bright green one up there, which is really cool, but it was a little loud. This thing gives the boat a little more class and it almost looks like a blue shadow up top, giving it this really cool custom vibe and we really like it. Now we're about to show you guys the inside. But before we do that, we have to quickly thank the sponsor of this video. There's a lot of idiot boaters out here on the water. If you're ever in this situation, you can call Morgan & Morgan. Whether you're injured in a car, boat, or any other kind of accident, your serious injury could be worth millions. Just in the last few months, they've gotten some of their clients anywhere from 25 to 40 times the amount their insurance company was originally gonna give them. 
And the best thing is, you don't pay a dime for their services unless they win, and starting a claim is just one click away. File your claim today at ForThePeople.com forward slash SIA. When we got this boat, we had to completely gut the whole entire thing. This boat was strictly used for charters, so it had six cabins and three and a half heads. Now we have a three cabin, two and a half head layout. And let's start with one of the cabins that we tore out. So this used to be a bunk bed cabin, which we tore out and turned into our office space. We added a butcher block countertop. We added a whole entire cabinet for storage. Being YouTubers, we have to have plenty of space to keep all our stuff and try to keep it all organized as well. We added a little extra shelf here with our printer. And if you look at these cabinets, we had to figure out how to match them to the boat. It was really difficult, but we were able to track down a veneer that matched the rest of the boat perfectly. This wall, for example, used to be a white wall. It used to look like this wall over here, and we were able to match it to the rest of the boat perfectly. We also added some extra monitors because it just makes editing a lot easier than just working off of our single laptop displays. Now moving on to the kitchen. One of my favorite parts of the boat. We also updated the countertops here in the kitchen to butcher block as well. We added a front loading fridge and we tried to use as much of the space as possible. So we also have this knife drawer here up above. We added a gimbling stove with our air fryer. And here we have our massive 32 inch farmhouse sink, which is amazing on a boat because usually they're quite small. And it's multifunctional. We have our drying rack here. We have the cutting board. We also have a water mineralizer over here because the water from our water maker can be a little stripped of minerals. Up here we have our custom cabinets. We actually rebuilt these and made them all a foot deeper. We added extra shelving to keep things separated. Each one has its designated items. Here on a monohull, things can move around and shift while you're sailing, so we added these little tabs to keep our bowls and plates from moving around while we're underway and keep everything in place. Another extra shelf. And in here we keep all our cups. We added extra compartments for our lids and also a little wine glass rack. Up top we have our spice rack and we also have a spice rack down here. Keep our oils and salts and everything. And we, on both sides, we added some secret storage. To hide the booze. <laughs> On a boat, storage is key. So actually all of these compartments we turn into drawers to maximize our storage space. Here we have our cleaning supplies, another drawer. And this is our kitchenware. Originally it was just a cabinet and you had to reach all the way back in. Things got lost. So we turned it into a drawer to make sure that everything has its own space. Moving over to the island, we have a couple more drawers. We added a bigger drawer here for our snacks and stuff. It's very deep. Got a little freezer. That's how we make our ice. A couple more cabinets. And then this is actually an area where we removed a drawer because we wanted easy access for the trash can. In here, you can see that we have a pull-out trash can. We built this. This used to be just a standard cabinet. That's a very good way to have the trash can out of the way and not visible. And the trash never stinks because on a boat, when you're off grid, you're not throwing a bunch of food in your trash because you might have that trash bag on board for weeks at a time. All of our biodegradable stuff like banana peels and vegetable ends and stuff, go overboard. And then over here we got our liquor bar station and this piece of trim here used to go all the way around this table. It's nice because it holds all the bottles in place and then we also added this water carbonator that we use a lot because now we're not carrying gallons and gallons of seltzer water so it saves a lot of space on a boat. And then if you back up, one of my favorite parts is the tool chest. Easily accessible, we made drawers that house all of our stuff so, you know, we're in this cabinet every day, and if your boat doesn't have a tool chest, then I'm assuming your boat has some sort of bag that's located in the bilge that looks like a bird's nest, and you can't ever find the tools you need. So this is very important. On every boat we've had, we've always made sure our tools are organized and very easily accessible. And then we have our dining room table, which is a custom map design that we made. We threw a map down, threw some epoxy on it, 
It used to be the same color as the kitchen cabinets and all the same color wood in the boat made the boat very bland and this gives it a really cool custom vibe. Also, the table legs under it are removable and this whole thing drops down into a big pad. And if you look here, you will see a projector. And if you look in the middle of our fishing rods, camouflaged is our projector screen. That thing has its own sound system. It's, it's awesome. We also made all of these custom blinds and a bunch of people have asked about these. We're probably gonna show you guys how we did it in the next episode. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and you'll find that out. And here is our nav station where we eliminated the bench, put in a very efficient freezer or fridge depending on what you wanna set your temperature at. And then we got more storage under here where we keep just all the supplies and flashlights and stuff. We have an additional Garmin unit here for redundancy in case one fails over on a crossing or you just wanna check where you're at when you're down below. We've got our VHF. This is our Victron battery management system so we can see exactly what our battery's doing, how much solar we're bringing in, how much power we're using, both AC and DC. Here we have our kicker radio and then our entire electric panel. Not to mention this awesome squid light up thing that Sasha's parents got us that was pretty cool and our little squid key rack. So that's pretty much the common area and now let's dive into the cabins. In the back of the boat we have two cabins. In this cabin you can find our vacuum. We have a couple guitars, <laughs> but the big thing is our water maker. Here, this is how we control our water system, our water maker, turn it on and off. And then underneath the bed here, you can actually see our entire Seawater Pro water maker system. Super easy access, yeah. easy to clean filters and all that. So that's important to have in a nice organized place as well. Yeah. And behind this wall, we have our battery system. We have our Victron solar chargers, distribution center, and we have five 8D Battleborn batteries. They're 270 amp hours each, so we have a total of 1,350 amp hours that control the entire boat. We really wanted to get a big size battery bank because we did not want to get a generator on board, so we are completely reliant on the sun and we use our batteries to make our own water to run every system on the boat day and night. And eventually, when we get AC on board, we'll be able to run it off the batteries as well. So. Pretty awesome. Okay, moving on to the second cabin. Under our companionway steps, we have our engine, which you can see in an earlier episode on our YouTube channel. Oh, and not to mention. Oh, our sticker wall. Our sticker wall with all our friends and some of the companies we work with. And our good luck shrine. We have a cross that my grandparents sent me, as well as this little necklace here, which doesn't fit me, but we had a, uh, one of our friends, Joel, sent it to me, who is a fan of the channel, and they're fairy wings because of my little shark incident. That is staying right there, and it is going to guide us around the world so we don't sink this bad boy. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on, we have our second cabin. Another cabin, we have our closets over here as well for storage. This cabin has a couple extra shelf spaces. We have our inverter for our AC power, hides back here. And we cut out vents for airflow so it doesn't overheat in this back compartment. We also added this hammock here for towels, bathing suits, anything the guests want to use it for. And this cabin has direct access to our aft bathroom. This bathroom is shared by both back cabins. We swapped out the countertop, we put it in a larger sink new faucet and we also have an electric toilet which is a huge upgrade we used to have pump toilets back here that were constantly leaking and this thing has been amazing we also have this cute little pirate picture and take note of the toilet roll holder oh yeah dude that thing means business now on to the master one thing we forgot to mention is we did replace all the floors with teak and poly Previous floors were delaminating and just needed to be completely redone. So you can see that in an earlier episode on our channel as well. Now before we get to the master, we did change this around a little as well. There used to be a wall here with double doors. We pushed those back over here and we made both these bathrooms accessible to everybody on the boat. Before, this was two cabins and each cabin had their own head. Now we have the master up front and we have 
forward head, which we haven't quite finished remodeling yet. We also swapped out the old pump toilets for an electric toilet, and we added some decorations. A very sexy mermaid that makes it really hard to aim into the toilet when you're standing up trying to pee. <laughs> we have a walk-in shower on this side. Great size. We added a little bench here that is also the same butcher block as the salon area. Yeah, a lot of room in here, huh? A lot of room. Yeah, there was a toilet there that we took out. This is our walk-in shower, and this is for the shower that everyone uses on the boat. And now it's time to show you guys the master. So this master used to be two cabins as well. Up here on the ceiling you can see where the wall divider was. Ralph surprised me one day and took it out and made this master cabin. We added a king size mattress and we also added shiplap on the sides of the walls. They used to be a white vinyl that we took down and we replaced them with this. It just made the boat look longer, gave the boat more personality. And we added these ropes here in the corners to finish it off. We also added this picture up here. We did make this picture frame as well, so that way it matched the vibe of the boat. We also have this iPad holder here so we can watch movies while we're in bed. And we have this cute little lantern that we hang from the ceiling, changes colors. And that is just a light a we vibe. can use. It's a vibe. Check that out. We just stained the wood and put a little bracket. And I love that picture. It gives the boat depth. And if you look here, we both have our own closet. A little storage up top, the shelves, cabinet there. And we both have a drawer for our clothes and a little cubby. We have big plans this summer in a couple months to build this master out. We tore down the wall, but we haven't had time to really customize it. And what we're gonna do is take and make a massive closet here. So it'll probably go all the way up to the ceiling. So we'll have a closet this size on each side and then maybe a couple of drawers and shelves and then still have a little bit of this wood over here. And then there will be a little lip, so this will look finished. Cause right now, I mean, clearly we just brought our wood down and this is just free floating on our bed planks. Another thing we didn't mention is that under all the floor panels is a ton of storage where we keep a lot of provisions and stuff. So if we move these mats back, we take a little suction cup here and that's how we get in to our floorboards. We stick it on the ground, it comes right up, and we've got a bunch of tubs and stuff and try to keep it all organized. But this solves the issue with having a whole bunch of hardware on the floor, and we think it looks pretty good. So hopefully you found this boat tour interesting. This boat truly is one of a kind. If you learned anything or were inspired by any of the projects we did, please Leave it in the comments section down below. Also, if there was something we missed and something you wanna know about the boat that we forgot to film or show, then also leave us a comment and we will make sure and respond back or address that on the next boat tour or in the next episode. Also, if there's anything that you guys liked on the boat, we did make a list of all of our links down in the description. Anything like our sink, our faucets, our water maker, our batteries. Yeah. And we get a little kickback, so help us out. Also, we are selling merch on our website. We got our hats back in stock. So if you like our logo, then show us some love there. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We are sailing around the world. We've got like almost 40 episodes out now and they're pretty entertaining. You'll be able to see this boat from where it began to where it is now and where it continues to go. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode and we will see you guys next week. Bye.